नमस्ते ऑन फ्राइडे वी हैव महाशिवरात्रि एंड इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आई हैव शेयर्ड अ रिमेडी व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू बुल एज यू ऑल नो नंदी एंड नंदी इज अ बुल एंड द मोस्ट फेवरेट ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इज नंदी अ बुल एंड एज यू ऑल नो अ बुल इज व्हेरी इनोसेंट सो इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस ब्यूटीफुल रिमेडी दैट विल हेल्प यू टू स्ट्रेंथन योर जुपिटर एस्पेशली वेन यू हैव जुपिटर राहु कंजंक्शन जुपिटर केतु कंजंक्शन जुपिटर विथ वीनस बिकॉज जुपिटर वीनस कंजंक्शन इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ पॉजिटिव कंजंक्शन बिकॉज वीनस एफ्लिक्स जुपिटर बोथ आर ऑपोजिट एनर्जीज सिमिलरली इफ यू हैव जुपिटर विथ प्लूटो दैन ऑल्सो जुपिटर इज एफ्लिक्टेड सो इफ यू हैव अ एफ्लिक्टेड जुपिटर then you can definitely follow this beautiful remedy connected to nandi the bull and i thought to share this on the event of mahashivratri because without nandi there is no shiva and without shiva there is no nandi that is the bonding the strong connection between both so let's begin with this podcast nobody gives respect to a bull in fact if somebody is an idiot then we label him as a bull in our human society people often consider a bull as a symbol of a fool but it is this fool that god is fond of shiva is fond of lord shiva is fond of a bull called nandi always remember once you become a fool god is a fool then you don't have to worry much nandi the bull is also not worried much he is focused on his master lord shiva a bull can work wonders and it is only a bull who can truly transform because he has no head no logic no intellectualism he is simply devoted to his master and his master loves him more than anything else remember even if you don't have any knowledge and you have a beautiful heart that is enough the master will take care and you will become not just a knowledgeable person but also a wise person all you need is innocence faith love and patience saint gyaneshwar once made a surprising event occur some arrogant brahmins were mocking him while he was reciting the sacred verses of bhagavat gita one of the brahmins forcefully closed his mouth to make him stop reciting at that moment a bull happened to be standing nearby to everyone's astonishment the bull started reciting the verses of bhagavat gita this left the entire brahmin community in shock as they wondered how a bull could recite such holy verses it made them realize that saint gyaneshwar was truly a great avatar if he could empower a bull to recite the sacred verses then who were they to pass judgment on him and so this is how a bull has always been a favorite of the gods and saints alike lord shiva is worshiped by millions and millions of hindu devotees 
फ्रॉम अ वेरी कॉमन मैन टू मेनी ग्रेट योगीज ग्रेट सेंट्स दे ऑल वर्शिप लॉर्ड शिवा बट द मोस्ट लव्ड वन ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इज अ बुल हु इज कॉल्ड नंदी दिस नंदी अ बुल मे नॉट बी एज वाइज और एज ग्रेट एज द योगीज और सेंट्स बट स्टिल He is deeply loved by Lord Shiva for his innocence. The journey of this human life is from ignorance to innocence. Shivam. Innocence has a divine fragrance and that fragrance is of truth, satyam. Nandi is like an innocent child and so he is adored by Lord Shiva. Nandi may not be wise he may not be well versed in the scriptures he may not be intellectual but still he is the most adored devotee of lord shiva and this is very symbolic this is very significant we may not be wise we may not be intellectual and yet we still can be a nandi because nandi is innocence and innocence shivam can only be derived from truthfulness satyam the foundation of innocence is in truthfulness the foundation of shivam is in satyam truthfulness truth lifts the heart like water refreshes thirst only a truthful heart can be innocent and an innocent heart is not bothered about how much money you are going to count but rather is sensitive to how deeply you can feel and resonate with and this is what happened with vincent van gogh vincent van gogh is the most famous and influential figures in the history of western art in just over a decade he created about 2000 artworks including around 860 oil paintings his collection of paintings include landscapes portraits and self portraits and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic impulsive and expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundations of modern art today even though he is not alive still his fascinating paintings have kept his name alive that is how he is still admired as one of the greatest legendary artists but even great artists have to go through many difficulties until the beauty of their art is eventually felt and realized vincent van gogh also had to go through many struggling stages he was no exception but what makes vincent exceptional is something that only you can find out from an insightful incident that happened during the very early struggling days of his life young vincent had a few of his paintings on sale the paintings of vincent were very strange for many visitors who could not understand what his paintings were all about and so not a single painting was sold his younger brother hearing that not a single painting had sold gave some money to a man a friend of his not known to vincent and told him to go and purchase at least one painting his brother thought that this secret arrangement would give vincent some satisfaction he said to his friend the poor man is dying the whole day he is painting starving for painting but nobody is ready to purchase his painting nobody sees anything in it you please go and buy a painting of his use this money that i have provided you with the words of vincent's younger brother were true because to see something in vincent's painting you need the eye of a painter of the caliber of vincent van gogh less than that will not do his paintings will seem strange to you his trees are painted so high that they go above the stars stars are left far behind 
now you will think that this man is mad trees going up up higher than the stars have you seen such trees anywhere when vincent van gogh was asked your trees always go beyond the stars he said yes because i have felt always that trees are the ambition of the earth to reach the stars otherwise why to touch the stars to feel the stars to go beyond the stars this is the desire of the earth the earth tries hard but cannot fulfill the desire i can do it the earth will understand my paintings i don't care about you whether you understand or not always remember no great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness now this kind of strange paintings you cannot sell the man whom his brother had sent came van gogh was very happy at last somebody had come to purchase but soon his happiness turned into despair because the man looked around picked one painting and gave the money vincent van gogh said but do you understand the painting you have picked it up so casually you have not looked i have hundreds of paintings you have not even bothered to look around you have simply picked one that was accidentally in front of you i suspect that you are sent by my brother put the painting back take your money i will not sell the painting to a man who has no eyes for my painting and tell my brother never to do such a thing again the man was puzzled how he managed to figure it out he said you don't know me how did you figure it out he said that's too simple i know my brother wants me to feel some consolation he must have manipulated you and this money belongs to him because i can see that you are blind as far as paintings are concerned and i am not one to sell paintings to blind people i cannot exploit a blind man and sell him a painting what will he do with it and tell my brother tell him also that he also does not understand painting otherwise he would not have sent you when the brother came to know he came to apologize he said instead of giving you a little consolation i have wounded you i will never do such a thing again always remember understanding is deeper than knowledge there are many people who know you but very few understand you you can only understand a story a poem a painting if you are able to feel it you can only understand a person a situation if your heart vibrates and resonates with it understanding is not the job of the brain but the gift of the heart you can only understand vincent van gogh and his painting if you are able to see his creativity with your heart and not just the eyes this story or incident is so beautiful that it gives us a perspective of how deep is the heart of a true artist and this is what makes vincent van gogh an exception this is what indicates that a true artist is on the horizon he was starving he had no money he must be homeless and yet he is not willing to sell the painting to someone who has no eyes to feel and appreciate the beauty of his painting true artists are born not to seek money but to seek the heart and this is what happened with vincent he was so innocent so much so that he was not bothered about money even though he was starving to many people of his time vincent van gogh may have appeared as a bull a fool a nandi who has no brains who is mad but to god vincent is the most devoted artist 
the world had ever known because vincent is asking the man who had bought his painting a very deep question he asks but do you understand the painting you see there is an urgency to know whether the man has truly connected resonated with the painting and this is what god is also asking you but do you understand the grace of my blessings or you are just rushing to the church or rushing to the temple just because you have to follow the rules and guidelines of your religion remember god is not interested in how perfectly you are following the rules of your religion because god has no religion god is only interested to know how deep is your love for him never worship god out of fear only imprisoned criminals go to the court out of fear you are not a criminal so why should you worship god out of fear god is experienced out of love out of devotion the only way to connect with god is through love and devotion there are many ways to reach god i choose love says rumi and so if anybody calls you a bull consider yourself blessed because in the kingdom of god bulls are more welcome than human beings humans are full of heads full of logics full of intellectualism but a bull a bull is madly in love a bull is a fool god's fool and whosoever is god's fool is indeed the chosen one the more blessed one and so to strengthen your weak jupiter or afflicted jupiter it is necessary that you follow this five step remedy step 1 every thursday morning ensure that you provide nourishment to a bull what should you offer as its feed it is recommended to feed the bull a mixture of 1.5 kg of chana dal combined with jaggery powder in english chana dal is also known as baby chickpeas step 2 as thursday arrives prepare a yellow cotton cloth and place five whole turmeric haldi sticks inside it proceed to securely tie the cloth then make your way to a nearby peepal tree and carefully hang the yellow parcel on one of its sturdy branches take care to ensure that it remains securely in place and doesn't fall step 3 before embarking on any important task remember to carry a yellow cloth containing 3 turmeric haldi sticks in your shirt pocket step 4 on thursday distribute roasted chickpeas roasted chana to 11 temples also the more you distribute roasted chana to children and women the more jupiter's ill effects will nullify on thursdays visit audumbar tree and beneath the tree light a lamp using cow's ghee if you do this every thursday you will be able to overcome financial problems and so on this mahashivratri ensure to worship the beautiful bull nandi as well as also feed the bulls whenever possible during mahashivratri it is not necessary that you should fast depending on your health condition you can fast or you can skip fasting however what is important that you spend more time in chanting the shiva mantra om namah shivaya 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 Enough for now 
जय श्री गणेश जय गुरु गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम